Although as physicists, almost we all know what a charge is, but here I want to recall the story how we were introduced to it at different staging during our training for physics. At metric level, we were told it is the property of a particle due to which it experiences force when placed in an electric field either in the direction or opposite to the direction of applied field. This bidirectional property of the force in an electric field suggests that there are two kinds of charged particles. One kind was called positive and the other kind was called negative. Alongside, we were introduced to another property of charges and that property is unlike charges attract and like charges repel each other. Later on, in introduction to atomic model, the negative charge of a body was related to the excess of electron and the positive charges were related to the deficiency of electron in the body. Here it was told that electron carries negative charge and proton carries positive charge. It was also told that the magnitude of charge on these particles is equal. Probably the reason of assigning negative charge to electron is the direction of force it experiences opposite to the direction of applied electric field. From here we noted that the charge of a body is quantized in terms of electronic charge and for balanced number of electrons and protons the body remains electrically neutral. In electromagnetic we were told that charge is the property of matter whose motion constitutes current and the magnitude of current depends on the number of moving charges and their speeds as well. All these properties are quite true, but we were never told about something more fundamental in terms of a charge can be defined. The reason is that there, in fact, does not exist any such fundamental things in terms of which the charge can be defined. And when this is the case with the physical quantity, physicists say it is an intrinsic property. So charge is an intrinsic property of electrons and protons embodying them with the properties we were introduced at different stages in our training for becoming physicists. However, important to note, quarks are particle carries fractional electronic charge but are found only in combinations.